G'day, today I'm going to show you the fastest way of solving algebraic equations where you don't have to do all the messy working out and you can get straight to the answer. Sound good? Well, let's have a look at an example. We'll start with this example here. Uh, we'll have 4x uh, plus 3 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Now the way we're going to solve this is as follows. We're going to start with the answer and then work our way backwards. Now I'm going to show you the working out that I'm going to be doing as I do this, just so you can get a bit of a handle of what's going on, but you should be able to do this without all the working out even that I'm about to show you. So if we have a look at x here, the very first thing that's happening to x is we're starting with that and we are multiplying it by 4. The next step is then we get that and add 3 to it. We get all of this and divide 5 to get our answer of 3. Now, as I said, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the answer and head backwards. But when we do that, instead of, say, dividing by 5 here, we'll do the opposite. We'll multiply by 5. What we'll do here, instead of adding 3, is we will subtract 3. Instead of multiplying by 4, we will divide the 4. That is to say, we're doing the opposite uh, operation each time. So let's do that, and let's get our answer. So first off, we have 3 multiplied by 5. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. 15 minus 3 is 12. 12 divided by 4, we have our answer. x is equal to 3. There you go. That's how you go through and do this. And as you could see, you could do this without even writing all this down. You could start just with the equation up here. Go 3 multiplied by 5 minus 3 divided by 4 and get your answer. So if you like this trick, do us a solid. Hit the like button and subscribe. And while you're at it, leave a comment and say good day. So what about we have a look at another example? So here we go, we have 3x squared, to that we're going to add 2 and divide all of that by 11, where the answer is going to be 7. So, what's the value of x here? So we work this out the same way, we could start up here and just go 7, multiply by 11 and work our way backwards, but I'm going to show you all my working out that I'm thinking of. So let's have a look what's happening to x. The very first thing that happens to x here is it's being squared, so we have x and it's being squared. Then we are being multiplied by 3. So multiplied by 3. Then we have plus 2. So plus 2. All of this is being divided by 11. Divided by 11 is equal to 7. So once again, we're going to work backwards. And then what we're going to do is do the opposite operations as we go. So let's do that. So instead of dividing by 11, we will multiply by 11. Instead of adding 2, we will take 2. Instead of multiplying by 3, we will divide by 3. Instead of square, we square root. So let's have a look at our answer. Uh, okay, so what we do is we are going to start with 7. 7 times 11 is 77. Subtract 2 is 75. 75 divided by 3. Well, 75 divided by 3 is 25. And the square root of 25, we get our answer that x is equal to 5. Awesome. What do you reckon? I'll make one even harder now. What about you give this one a go? So let's have a look at the next one. We have the square root of 3x over 2, and to that we are going to add 4. That's going to be equal to 7. Now when we solve this particular one, what about we try to skip one of those steps we've been doing? What about we don't write what's happening to x? We can see what's happening. First off, it's being multiplied by 3. Then we divide by 2. The whole lot's being square rooted. And then we add 4 to get 7. What about we try to skip that step and just get straight to the answer, where we're going to be going backwards as we go. So we're going to start with 7 here, and then if we're working backwards to what's happening to x there, well, the first thing we hit is this plus 4, but we're not going to add 4, we subtract 4. Then what we had is this square root around the whole bit there. The opposite of square root is we're going to square that whole thing. Then we're left with 3x over 2, so we're going to get rid of this divided by 2 part by multiplying by 2. And then we have now 3x. So to get rid of that, we're going to divide our answer by 3. And that should give us our answer. So what about we do this? We have 7 minus 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 divided by 3. We have that x is equal to 6. Now this might be one we want to check. Let's have a look. 3 times 6 is 18. Divided by 2 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Plus 4 is 7. Happy days, and that's how you do this. So what about we have a look at one last one? Let's have a look at this one here. So the final question, we have five, and in brackets, x plus two. All of this is going to be then divided by 10 plus three 
is equal to five. All right, do you think you'll be able to solve this one yourself without uh, me telling you? Oh, well, we'll see how you go. But see if you can start it at five here and work your way backwards to what's happening to X there, because that's what I'm gonna do right now. So if we were to look at the answer, which is five, and we work the opposite to what's happening to X here, the very last thing we do in this equation is we have this plus three. So we're going to subtract three. And that's going to leave us with five X plus two over 10. Now the next bit we're gonna get rid of is this divided by 10 part. So to get rid of that, we're going to multiply by 10. That's going to leave us with five X plus two, which means five times X plus two. So we're going to get rid of this five next. That's multiplying, we're going to divide by five. That's going to leave us with X plus two, to get rid of the plus two part, we're going to subtract two. So now we work this out, we can work out the value of x. Five take away three is two. Two times 10 is 20. 20 divided by five is four. Four take away two gives us the value of x that x is equal to two. That's pretty cool, right? And that is how you go through and solve these directly without doing a whole bunch of messy working out. Did you like that trick? Well, if you did, please hit down hard on the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more math tricks and tips. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.